What's up, YouTube? Mother Designer here, doing a quick update to the exploding barrel tutorial. Uh, someone uh, asked me about how I can apply uh, like a radial damage to the barrel that it causes other things to get pushed away. So here is an example of that in action. So as you can see, a quick update that uh, when the barrel explodes after three hits, it pushes the physics objects back and it also has an exploding sound. So what did I do that's different? So if you go back and look at the exploding barrel blueprint tutorial, uh, we're going to make two small changes to that. And if you haven't seen that tutorial yet, uh, I'll add it to the link in the description below, and I'll make sure to add it to the uh, end screen uh, videos as well. So what you want to do is when you load the blueprint up, is everything's pretty much the same, except we need to add something called a radial force. So go to component add component and you can type in radial force and then what you can do is place it inside uh, your barrel and you should get a visual representation of how far the radius is uh, I have it very exaggerated right now but just for a point of testing you can play with the numbers to see what works for you um, on the right side in the properties uh, the things you want to change are in the radial force component objects types to affect so here it's saying um, well before you do that there's a radius so right now I'm at 1024 2 to 5 12 what have you so I'm at 1024 a bit exaggerated and the t objects to affect uh, this says that when there is a radial force what does it act upon if you need to add or uh, add any elements you can click on add element and what I have is uh, it'll affect uh, physics body types in Unreal. It'll affect vehicles if you have them. It'll affect destructible meshes. It'll affect any dynamic actors and it'll affect any projectiles. So in the case of the starter content that's in the first person blueprint, these are physics objects that are dynamic. So when they get hit, they get pushed back because my properties I have allowing you to hit physics bodies and dynamic bodies. So anything that's a physics body will get affected by the impulse. Impulse strength, uh, I set it to 900,000, over 9,000, but 900,000, again, just to be exaggerated, so I can see if it actually works or not. And the thing that I read into was that I need to figure out is when you have a physics object, if you go to the bottom in simulate physics, there's mass in kilograms so I need to look into this but depending on the mass of the object you need a certain amount of impulse and I don't know what that how to convert that or figure that out yet so just for testing I made a very very large impulse value of 900,000 to push that weight of the box and again if, you, if you're working on a game or a project and you have programmers and stuff and they can tell you what numbers to use properly that the impulse of the explosion can move the proper amount of mass of the object around it. But we're just testing, so 900,000 works. Next point, uh, destructible damage. How much damage you want to come out of this? So I put 5,000. Again, just a very arbitrary number. And one thing I noticed is um, that you need to do is turn off auto-activate, because if you don't do that on spawn, it's going to trigger the impulse and you won't see it happen. So make sure your auto activate is off. And the next thing I did was I go to uh, I went to my content browser and I searched for under content I searched for um, explosion and there's explosion zero one I selected that and then right click in my um, and add component and audio explosion one, which I already have. And that's inside of my uh, barrel. And I set the volume multiplier to five, so it's five times louder than it used to be. Again, just testing. And 
as with the impulse actor and the lights and the fire you want to make sure auto activate is turned off otherwise you'll hear it on load so with those set we go into our event graph everything is pretty much exactly the same as the uh, first uh, barrel tutorial but the only thing we do to break things up is on explosion activate we will drag out a pin uh, and just to cop reiterate what I did I drag out my radial force I can delete this so I can show you so I'll drag my radial force and then from here I want to say fire impulse so that, that will fire the impulse value of Oh, sorry, I forgot my radial force. It will fire an impulse strength of 900,000 on fire impulse. Once I'm done firing the impulse, I want to play the sound. So I can select explosion 1, drag it out, drag out a pin, play, and then the last thing, and connect that to that, fire impulse to the play, and then I had an apply damage. The damage actor is self, just the barrel. And base damage, I set it to 100. So if something has a health value or accepts damage, it'll apply 100 amount of damage to that. And then I can go back to my point light up here, turn off the visibility. Turn off the fire visibility, turn off the set the visibility of the barrel, turn off the collision, and turn off the collision of the whole thing. So the top part is pretty much the same. We added just a new point from the explosion activation with the radial force with the fire impulse, explosion one play and apply damage, and it goes back to where we disable the light, disable the fire, etc. And just to clean things up, I can make this in a linear flow so everything flows nicely in a single line so it's less messy so this is the only new block we added to the exploding barrel compile to save <coughs> hit play <laughs> we have a barrel that does knock back explosion with sound hopefully that helps and it was a quick update to an existing tutorial. Uh, again, please leave any questions or comments and I will try to address them in future videos or replies. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial and video update. Take care. Bye.